Hey guys, as you know, the latest experimental ball just dropped 115 or something. So do you want to see me keep on going with 105 and use electricity and traps and stuff? Or do you think I should start over with a new experimental ball? Please leave your comments down below so that I know what actions to take next. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9. As you guys can see, I didn't restart with the new beta being out, the new build. Um, the reason for that being is I don't usually post on, I should actually, but I don't actually post on the forums all the bugs I find. So I'm just going to keep playing here. Um, I just hope there won't be any errors for me doing so now at the moment. Um, apparently they decreased the wolves because they were giving too much meat and they increased chickens and rabbits. So hopefully we find that. Also they said there's more zombies in towns and the wild now as well. So let's just quickly drop off all of this. Also another reason I don't want to start over is because we've come so far. To start over now is going to be a little bit bad, especially since we just got the mini bike. So for now I'm just going to keep playing this and if I find any bugs I'll be forced to restart. So I'm just going to keep on driving and let's hope we find a new town or an interesting intersection. Also guys, I spoke with a friend after episode 8 uh, about the fact that the iron bars didn't want to rotate to their sides. Uh, on the sides and he actually gave me advice where he said you must w when you have the rebar not rebar the iron bars equipped what you need to do is hold in R and then it will give you options of how you want to turn it and I should have known that because I watched uh, the videos Mad Mole put out but I just forgot about that so I do apologize for that whoa bear do I have enough to kill him now I doubt it I don't want to waste ammo, so I'm just going to drive past him. How fast is he? Not that fast, so at least we're safe. Whoa, what a sharp curve. I'm thinking of actually making Alpha 16 stable build one and a half hour days. Because at the moment, two hour days, sure, you get more stuff done, but the wards are longer. And if it's still the same as Alpha 15, uh, then it, uh, the hordes stop at a certain time, so there's no point in making a two hour long hordes. Well, actually the hordes are like 40 minutes long then. I should actually stop with all of these bags to get my skills up. So what I, from what I could see, um, the new beta, the new build that they did, experimental build, um, the fixes do work in this game, because I mean for steel smithing for example, it didn't show the science skill. And now it does, uh, the requirement for the sound skill. So, hopefully, we don't get any bugs since I didn't restart. It's just, I mean, why restart now if we haven't even faced the Day 7 Horde and we just got the mini bike? So, t tell me if you guys agree. Do you want me to start over with a new experimental build or do you want to see me keep on going? Wow, crit damage. I should really only stop for intersections or stuff like this where it has two or more stuff to loot but uh, it's actually a waste of time to stop for every single small thing for example stopping here for this one and then stopping there for that one but I need to get my scavenging up and I always do that and then after a while I need to go back to those roads just to loot there are definitely more zombies now in the wild I'm just glad they toned down the wolves I mean I already got two dire wolves and they're supposed to be rare actually also be hunting but we already have three stacks I think of food so there's no need to hunt at the moment okay let's just quickly go to him it's gonna take way too long to get to us also um, hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos I've noticed that uh, lately the videos are getting views a lot faster like for example this <laughs> I wasn't gonna make one for a while uh, until this uh, afternoon late afternoon but now it's early afternoon and I have to make one because the views are almost at 20 views. Also guys, do you mind me sometimes cutting out looting? For example, when I'm not talking and I loot something, I mostly cut it out unless it's something awesome that I find. Uh, do you mind that or not? Because I just do that to save a bit of time. Ooh, new warthog. Is it going to attack me now? Why are my arrows going through him? There's no hitbox uh, for this guy. 
Oh, there is. And he, he is charging me, so he is a warthog. Come on. There's no hitbox for this guy, guys. I have to hit his body at an angle. And he's fast. No, 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 no. Okay, he bled out. Awesome. I didn't even know they added warthogs. It's a nice surprise, actually. They just have to fix that hitbox on him. Also, I've decided to play a little bit more relaxed because uh, the reason I was missing the guys that swing from side to side is because I want to rush too much. Seems I'm getting used to the arrows now. Especially the fact that it doesn't have a cursor anymore when you're zooming in. That was a fast rabbit, damn. It was gone before I even noticed what it was. Yeah, so there are tents up there, but I think I'm going to keep going until I find a proper intersection. Hopefully it's an intersection with a new building or something. As long as it's not the new tower, the new uh, skyscraper. It's going to take way too many episodes looting that thing. And since it's a new building, I'll, be, uh, I'll want to record looting everything. So I won't cut out any loot. I should actually remember to look at my field so I don't run out. It will be bad if I get stuck far away from the base. Hello there, partner. Sorry, that was a bad accent. Ooh, nice weapons. Let's just make some space and then keep going. I should actually be dumping a few things in the mini bike since they're already... Some of the things I have on me already in the mini bike, so... Just taking up unnecessary space at the moment. See if I'm right. Okay, just shift click them all and then see what goes in. It's not that much, surprisingly. Another bear. Okay, so they took away most of the wolves, but they added so much, uh, so many bears. And you can't tell me the bears count as small creatures. Come on. I mean, they said there's too many mammals, and I already found new, two new bears. And I say new because it's the new design. I still have to get used to hitting these guys. Even in Alpha 15, I struggled with them. I don't mean farmers, I mean the twitchers. Come on, come to me. Saves me having to go to you the whole time. Well, these guys are more more or less have a sense like for example when they lose balance you just wait for them to come up to a certain spot and they always go to that one spot that's why mostly when they stumble like that i'm able to hit them after but there's a road going there oh i hate the fact that they have the cop sounds it'll be even worse as if they also explode an unwelcome surprise It's actually bad how many levels you need to gain just to get your tools up. For example, le uh, level 300 needs to be at level 40, or 300 quality is level 40. Okay, so now, which way? Since our town is there, oh, well, we said the hub is down here. That's more this direction now. So I'm just going to go up and see where that leads. I know this is technically... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can be lucky that wasn't a hill, or a large hill. I know this is technically not the way to the hub, but I still want to see if there's something up here. So they said they increased the spawn, well this is loading so slowly. They increased the spawn of zombies in all the biomes except the snow biome, since the snow biome zombies are so tough. Why is it taking so long to render? Oh shit, die wolf. Just gonna stand still so the map loads a bit. Man, I hate my brother's car. It makes so much noise. Now the question is, if I uh, drive past it, will it be able to catch me? Let's test. 
This is my third dire wolf. Unfortunately, I won't be able to loot any of the things I drive past now. So, if I'm not mistaken, they still. Let me see. Is he still catching? Yes, he's still hunting me. Please tell me he stops after a while. It's actually really bothering me how, bothering me how the map's loading so slowly. I hope it has nothing to do with the fact that I just continued playing with the last save. Okay, let's see if we stop now. Is he still hunting us? Finally. See, this delayed loading. I wonder if it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that sleepers also uh, load so slowly. I don't think it was a bug. It's just that they load extremely slowly. So you think a room is clear and then they're still there. Okay, and drop a few more things. So I'm really running out of space. I'll need to eat and drink uh, the next time I need to clear something. Okay, at least I am thirsty and hungry, so let's just quickly drink stuff. There are definitely a lot more chickens and bunnies. I used to struggle to come across bunnies, and now all of a sudden they just keep running past the road. But then again, as soon as you really want them in-game, you can't find them. I should actually be killing all the chickens I come across for more feathers. Especially since Day 7 Horde is very close. At least the crouch still has its cursor, so you know exactly where to aim. I just really wish they could fix the fact that the zombies' heads go into the floor. You can't always shoot them when they're on the floor because the heads are uh, missing. That is also, since I'm recording this early afternoon, um, as you can hear in the background, there is some noise because my mother has a crash slash aftercare, and it's mostly the aftercare kids making noise now. And when the crash kids wake up, it's going to be even more noise. So if I start saying something and cut out, it's because they're making too much noise and I'm waiting for them to stop. Okay, uh, we had graphics or terrain glitch. I like how the snow biomes are mostly on peaks. Also, I want to test how tough the lumberjacks are now. First one, let's test him. I just actually hit him. See, their heads pop back to the same position, so if you just aim for that, you'll be able to knock them down. For warrior difficulty, that one was actually quite tough. Usually that's only with insanity that is that strong. Then again, I only have a yellow quality bow, so I was actually doing a ton of damage. It's such beautiful terrain and long distance, but I just wish they added more towns. I don't know if they d uh, dimmed it down with the latest uh, experimental. For a moment there, I thought I heard another direwolf call. You can actually see you're in the hilly area now. Usually it was just random hills and random buildings. I have to conserve my arrows as much as possible. Look at this drop. Damn. It would be awesome if there was a town or something down there. I just want to get to a POI as soon as possible before nightfall. Who knows, we can... No, but uh, we won't be able to do that at night since there are sleeper zombies now. It's only a bad thing. Usually in Alpha 15 you could run in any building at night and you'll be safe. Now you have to be careful because there are sli uh, sleepers everywhere. So first you need to clear out the whole building before 10, before they start running. Because facing them in small rooms is not ideal. I'm probably throwing out a lot of stuff that I can be using later on. But at the moment it's stuff that I'll never use or stuff that I have tons of it anyway, so... I just sort of drop them instead of making a chest. From the post, it actually seemed like the fun pimps were hopeful that this would be the last experimental. So let's keep our fingers crossed. The fact that it's smoothing out so much... Uh, it's still loading. Damn. It would suck if this uh, lack of loading, or the slow loading, causes me to drive into either a die wolf or a lumberjack. But it's mostly the snow biome that does this. I don't know why. Okay, so two roads. Which, which one should we take? Like I said, the base is... Wow, we're going further and further away from the base. 
Let's take this one and hope it curves back. Who knows, as soon as we face the day 7 horde, I might just restart like they want you to and then set the days lower so we can play faster. Okay, so this one seems to curve back. Let's take this one. See another dire wolf, damn it. So if the screen loads slowly now, we're screwed. And these kids do not disappoint. You can already hear them in the background. Every time I see flat terrain like this, I'm hopeful that it's a town nearby. But let's see if we're still being hunted. Nope, luckily not. So in the end, I am actually missing quite a few things that I could have looted because of die wolves. Can't stop and loot, otherwise they catch me. I'll have to put my jacket on soon because it seems it's getting rather cold over here. Especially since it's raining in the snow biome. As I do apologize for such a slow episode, but this is the only way we can find towns. By exploring and finding new things. I mean, if we didn't go exploring, we wouldn't have found the new boar. Wild boar. I mean, we already came across two more direwolves. Damn. What is that? I just want to see what it looks like when it gets up close. It looks... Oh, it's a normal wolf. For a moment there, it looked like the direwolf. And another wolf. I thought they scaled it down. Damn. I'm only getting wolves and direwolves now. Let's see how long these wolves actually follow for. Still hunted, so I'll need to be careful. Well, the fact that there's such a big distance between us and I'm still hunted makes me think that one of them was actually a die wolf. At least they're slow enough that we can loot in between as well. What do you guys think about Alpha 16 so far? Are you loving it? Are you hating it? What qualms do you have with it? Like I said, my only problem with it is the sleeper zombies. Whoa, I actually went... Right over this guy and he didn't die. Parkour chicken. Damn it, please, do, please don't tell me that's a direwolf. It was. I can be lucky I got on my mini bike. Damn, that's the third one. Well, known the third one. We're not sure if that other one was a direwolf or not, so it might have been the fourth just now. Luckily, he was attacking the zombie. Because if he was attacking me, there's no way I would have outrun him. That's a nice thing about this, uh, these wildlife creatures. They all attack zombies as well. So it's not just you that has to worry about the wolves. It's also the zombies. Ooh, chest armor. Let's make a little bit of space. We have any bike wheels. I'm going to keep this for now and then drop it later on. We have a lot of wood with our base, so there's no need to keep it on me. We've actually explored quite far. It's nice having a minibike. Okay, now, I see a house up there. Does that mean up there is a town? Or does that, that just mean there's a POI leading up there? I wonder what's the fun... Uh, fun I wonder what's the fun pimps' uh, definition of killer mammals. Because they said they toned down the wolves because there were too many. And yet, I already came across three dire wolves, known dire wolves. Two wolves, two bears, and a wild boar. At least only one wild boar, but still. Okay, let's just see where we are on the map. Oh, we came back. Awesome. So. Oh, it didn't actually lead to the hub. So what does lead to the hub? Is there still a hub in this game? Do you guys know or not? If you do, please leave a comment down below so that I know as well. It saves me time of going back and forth. Okay, let's go drop all of this off and then see how much time we have left. So we're going down the hill. I wonder if I'm getting so many wild animals because I didn't restart the game. Or if it's just common now for this build. It's actually a shame we didn't get another town. But uh, next time I'm going to go up where we ended with our town. I'm going to take one of those roads and see how far we get. It's just bothering me how everything's loading so slowly for me. I think after the ward we'll definitely need to restart. Okay, let's see. I don't think we've been there before. Just want to make sure on the map. 
No, we haven't. Let's quickly loot that before we get to the base. Also, there seems to be a campground over here as well. And now, see, the ground's loading so slowly. Now, how are the zombies going to spawn? Let's just crouch in and see how close we can get. Don't seem to be any zombies outside, so most of them have to be inside. I still want to go through all the notes for the latest patch and see if they fix the fact that sleepers move around from spawn points and that they spawn so late. And let's just dump everything that we don't need. So there don't seem to be any zombies at this sleeping ground. I definitely heard a zombie just now, so does that mean there are zombies in the area or not? Uh, what can I dump? Let's craft this. It just seems to be a random tier leader. Yes, I dropped the mini bike next to the boulder. This seems to be an army one again. And snake. Please tell me it's that zombie hunting us, not the snake. Question, where's the zombie now? Oh, it's still far away. I don't mind if it's a zombie hunting, hunting us, but if it's the snake, I'll hate it. <laughs> I mean, last time I took 22 arrows just to kill the one snake. Just have to keep my ears open for more zombies. Come on, die. Don't tra attract more attention. Awesome. It wasn't the snake. Now to make more space. See, that's a problem with the full inventory. Now, when I loot something, a zombie can sneak up, and I first have to close that window because my inventory is full. Now, there seem to be zombies inside. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Bad luck. If I could have just anticipated him, I could have knocked him down. Nope, the heads don't go in the upright position when I shoot them, or when they regain balance. Just wood, that sucks. Please tell me that was the only one. I want to see if I can shoot this one like this. Anymore. Decomposing backpack. That's new. And I'm hunted, so there's a zombie outside. Need to watch my back now. Let's eat this. Undetected. Huh. So it's either rather an animal outside or a zombie wandering by. But the zombie would have come for me if that was the, if that was the case. So let's just quickly check the map. Where are we? Huh, very close to the base. I don't get why people love motorbikes and cars and make so much noise. Even my little brother's car. Okay, scrap these. I want to keep these since we can start making ammo then. Okay guys, I'm just going to go back to the base and drop everything off, and then next episode or two we should face the horde. I think I might just do one episode, so I'm going to keep playing until right before the horde, and then we're going to face the horde together. So that the second episode from now, we can restart the game in the new experimental build. But next episode first, I'm going to place a few of the iron bars, and then we're going to go to those flat rocks to see what they are. So if you guys like this episode, remember to leave a like and comment down below. Whoa, that was bad. Um, if you have any comments or feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe for more of this content. See you guys next time.